Hello and welcome back to Brit Reviews It All. And um, tonight I just finished watching the latest episode of Love and Marriage DC. Um, this episode, it was the series finale. I'll be honest, it was kind of like, eh. The way that the scenes, um, that the episode started off, they were picking up from the couple's trip that they were on. And um, they woke up, they, it, things were going great, they had a good morning going on. And so um, they were just talking, and they had the IV, the people who, who do the IVs, they had them to come out for, um, for anyone who wanted to participate with that. And they were just sitting down and talking, and you had um, DJ Quick and Ashley. They had a moment on, scene, on camera um, where they were just talking about, like, old stuff and who cheated and who didn't cheat it and, oh, well, you cheated first or, you know, all of that. And it was just like, all right. Something that was probably just meant to be just a little little powwow, a little combo, a little ha-ha-ha turned into something where Ashley ended up getting agitated with Quick and it just caused a little bit of a ruckus uh, for a minute between the two, but it was just like, yeah, okay. And then we move on and they have a, um, they have a little scene that looks, uh, so apparently Ashley, she coordinated this. Um, so all of the couples, they dressed up in their um, Hollywood or, or inter favorite entertainment couples. Um, it was a cute little scene, but for whatever reason, I was expecting more out of that scene than what we actually got. I guess more drama, it seemed like that's the way the production kind of cut it to make it look like it would be. And it didn't even, for me personally, it didn't turn out to be that way. So um, we do have where clearly Ashley was still agitated quick. Um, then we also have where Monique, uh, the question was asked, if you were to meet your partner today would you still marry them no you know um and so that just kind of sparked a little bit of like a, ooh, like i don't know but um chris he an answered it as honestly as he could um and he was doing very very good until he brought up this um ex monique instantly got aggravated with that and that was the problem um then she said her little spew and um basically said that she wished um, if that was if it was an option for her, she, they would have never gotten married, and she would have just wanted to have a more of a spiritual marriage versus on paper because she felt like once that happened, a lot of their relationship it completely changed, and she would have liked to just keep everything else the same except for that one little piece. Chris was um, not happy with that answer, um, but hey, it was a question, and you both answered honestly. Um, whether you liked her response or not, if she didn't like your response, that was an honest um, answer to the question. But overall, um, so that was the, the most of what we got at that scene. Um, everybody pretty much answered what they answered. Um, quick, he was giving his whole little, basically like more of an apology um, type of response to Ashley. But to be honest with you, while he was saying everything that he was saying, I could not take him serious with that outfit and that wig because that's all I kept looking at. And I couldn't take, I couldn't listen to anything that was coming out of his mouth. So I was just like, all right, we get what you're going, what you're doing, whatever. Ashley even obviously accepted his apology anyway, and she was good. Um, so let's see. So they move on. Um, just jumping ahead because there really wasn't much on this uh, particular episode, like I said. The biggest thing that happened was Ashley's event, um, which was very beautiful, by the way. Um, even Monique and Chris had some comments to make about her having herself everywhere plastered around that entire um, space. Names on the pillows, pictures all over the place, which if you recall one of the episodes, this was actually very, um, um, had to have been a lot for Ashley to even put herself out there like that out there like that because she basically said that she doesn't really care um she doesn't even like taking pictures of herself like that so that was good the ladies look great i mean every single one of them um it was very nice to see them together in a more harmonious um they had a very good vibe going on you know and i enjoyed that um 
Jamie and Irena, they had their whole little thing that was more like um, supposed to be a little secret sneak off, you know, to go do a little something, something, you know, in the back that don't nobody know about, but wasn't so secret. I mean, your mic, the cameras are following you guys, but it is great to see that they are working on their relationship on the um, sexual end because apparently that was one of the things that they needed to rekindle. So good to hear. Um, let's see. So um, Ashley, she does the reveal of uh, the cover of her book. Um, I was very, very happy that they actually were able to convince her to do the cover because it actually worked out, in my opinion, in her favor. It looks great. Um, I actually wouldn't mind reading it just to see what she has to say. I mean, hey, there might be some information in there that I might need to read. I don't know, but um, it did very well. Um, now, you have Quick coming in with his surprise, and as soon as he starts talking, Ashley is already trying to take that ring off because she just has an idea like, honey, you finna give me a new ring. Um, I kind of hate when he's talking and she kind of jumps in in the midst of him talking. That was annoying for me, but I mean, if that's how the both of them are, then, then so be it. Um, but eventually, yes, he really was actually upgrading her ring. Um, he wanted to give her a true proposal a marriage proposal that um, apparently he never did, uh, which is getting down on one knee, proposing to her. Um, she never received that, so he did that on that night, and it made that night even more um, grand than what it already was. Um, even brought out Tank to sing a song for them, and it was beautiful to watch. Um, they got very emotional. You felt that you could feel the energy through the screen. Um, even the other couples, everybody was in a good, 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 good mood, good energy. Um, I mean, you could pretty much tell that this was a, this was the season finale, the way that they were closing it out. Um, overall, I mean, uh, and I'll be honest on this scene, it almost made me cry, but held it together. Um, Ashley's patting her makeup, trying not to mess up anything, um, but no arguments, no, you know, any of that. Monique closed it out pretty well, you know, for the goal of the season was to just show where they have, if they weren't as close to each other, that they are building relationships and not just on a more of a social level, but more of like real friendships. Um, so I'm very interested to see what is going to happen with this um, crew. And um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep watching. Let's see what happens. So, I mean... That was basically the most um, that I got out of this particular episode. Um, the reunion is getting ready to come up next week. So we're going to see, of course, you know, all of the little back talking that's going on behind the scenes. Everybody's going to get a whiff of that. And we're going to see what happens with the reunion. So um, let me know what y'all thought about it. Um, it was an okay episode for me. Nothing too big, nothing too little. It was just like right in the middle, like a hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, but yeah, um, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell button so that you will be notified when I post a new video. Um, and enjoy the rest of your night or your day, whatever time frame you are watching this right now. I recorded it the same night that I watched the video. And um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to try to upload it as quickly as I can. And let's see what you guys have to think about the video. Bye, y'all.